The Director General of the Ayabila Presidential Campaign Organization, Abstrat Abiola Costello, has said that she is supporting Kogi State Governor Ayabilo in the race for the All Progressive Congress presidential ticket because she has seen in inequalities of the kind of leader Nigeria needs at this point in time. The DG also insisted that she was very sure that Bilo would be victorious at the primaries, notwithstanding the political status of his rivals. She said this on Monday while addressing journalists in Lagos ahead of the APC presidential primary slated for May 30th and 31st in Abuja. So the debt that the governor met when he assumed office was um, 130 million naira. 30 million or billion? billion. <laughs> Sorry, 135 billion naira. Today it is 70 billion naira. So he's been able to build 500 kilometers of road. He has been able to secure the university system. He has been able to build model schools. He has been able to even upgrade the polytechnic into a full-fledged university with accredited programs. He has been able to pay salaries and ensure that he doesn't owe at state level. He has been able to invest in areas of agriculture value addition. He has been able to do all those things while keeping the debt burden down and reducing it drastically. So this is someone that is a careful manager of resources. And if given the chance, it would do even more at federal. Why? Because federal has way more resources. There's the World Bank State Fiscal Transparency and Accountability Sustainability Ranking, which looks at the performance of states in the careful management of financial resources. And Kogi State, with the first year when it was, um, Kogi State was evaluated in the year 2017, Kogi came second. In 2018 and 2019, Kogi came first. For the 2020 report, it's still a draft report, but based on the results that we have from that draft report, Kogi came first again. And the initial work that has been done for 2021 suggests that Kogi is again coming first for 2021. Let me just read to you a list. The construction of the referen reference hospital in Okene, construction of the CT and MRI block at reference hospital in Okene, construction of perimeter fencing also in Okene, construction of oxygen plant also at the reference hospital in Okene, which means that if people are looking for oxygen, you are not, they're not going to look far. The hospital has um, a plant that has been put in place by His Excellency. Procurement and installation of medical, clinical, surgical, lab equipment, also in Okene. The renovation and remodeling of many of the old hospitals, and I can give you a complete list. Construction of modern general hospital in Kegu, Beki, Koton Cafe in local government area. Construction of modern general hospital in the Ajakuta area, local government area. Comprehensive renovation and remodeling of Kogi State Specialist Hospital Lokoja, which actually I saw when I visited Dwin Sala, and it's very beautiful, by the way. Construction of new ultra-modern clinical complex in Prince Abubakar Haudu University Teaching Hospital. Full accreditation of 24 programs presented for accreditation at Prince Abubakar Haudu University. When the governor took office, they, it changed the design of the flyover. The design that was first accepted would ensure that certain trucks and lorries would not be able to go over it because they will be too heavy and the flyover would collapse. It reinforced the flyover, which should make it more expensive. So now, no matter the weight of the truck, even Dangote trucks with full of cement will be able to go over this flyover. And it did all of this and delivered the flyover, which I think this week, is it this week? They're going to be commissioning the flyover for the price of um, 3.5 billion naira, which the initial um, cost that had been given to the government was 15 billion. Also note, I don't want to mention the state, that another state delivered that same fly, um, similar flyover in their state for well over 3.5, double 3.5. And if you just look, you will find the state that I'm talking about. I don't want to cast aspersions on anyone. The asphalt overlay on New Market Murtala Mohammed Barracks, well, that was four point, it's a dual carriageway of 4.7 kilometers. Then the, uh, the ongoing projects include the construction of Ida Ugbolawo Ejule Ayingba Road, 
of 55.5 kilometers, construction of the ultra-modern civic center in Lokoja, maintenance of government quarters, police squadron unit in Oro. I have, the list goes on, but I can imagine that you're getting fed up. I will, okay, we'll be happy to send this list to you. We are proud of this man. We are not just saying we are. We are proud of this man. You know, you cannot buy my, my, um, my commitments because there's not any amount of money that I need. I already have an excellent job that pays me in Euro and I'm based in Brussels with a family. That's all well to do. I don't have to take care of anyone. And I only have two kids. My, my husband, you know, he was the head of um, the EU fund in Nigeria, head of the EU fund in China. So because of his positions within the EU system, the school fees for the children is free. We never pay anything for gentle children to go to school. I want that Nigerian people have what people take for granted everywhere else, and they can have it. Those people don't have two heads. It's their own people who are doing it, but the people do it in the interest of their own people. And we have a candidate. He is the one that's actually sticking his neck out because he's going to work in your own interest. And there are forces that, are, that won't want him to succeed because they know that. Let us be clear, this is, this is a fight for Nigeria's survival, for the soul of a great country. So yes, you may not be impressed with him, but let me assure you that he has done more than the governments preceding him. And that's the meaning of progress. With the limited resources that he had, somebody asked the question of economy. I've mentioned the transparency by which he manages, which is um, verified by the World Bank. But also consider the way in which he has generated revenue in the state, because all the things I've said could not have been done if he hadn't been generating revenue. So when he came on board, the revenue of Okogi State per month was around 300 million. He has grown that revenue to, four, to about 4 billion today. You know, this is somebody who knows that the wealth of Nigeria is the people of Nigeria, and he will do what is required to help the people grow the wealth of our country. So we just need to support him and he will do that. Now, I think there was another question about um, current situation of our candidate. Um, I don't want to preempt because, you know, Yemi Kolakpo is the able director for media for the campaign. But there's something that we should be unveiling within days that will really put to rest whatever lingering doubts and reservations you all may have. I don't want to say too much about this, but let me just say that this is a candidate that has been carefully preparing for this office for years. So you can imagine that he would want you to have as much information about what he plans to do as possible. And that within days, we will be able to respond with more information about the plan. And let me say that in terms of that plan, it is such an excellent piece of work.